Wednesday night fights are on the air. Presented by Pabst Blue Ribbon. Finest beer served anywhere. And Menon, makers of world famous Menon, products for men. Welcome to the Wednesday night fights. Direct from ringside at the Houston Coliseum in Houston, Texas. A 10-round lightweight bout, matched by the International Boxing Club, James Dean Norris, president, between world lightweight champion Wallace Smith of Cincinnati, Ohio, and Joe Brown of New Orleans, Louisiana. Here's a salute to Houston. The Texas Giant, the host city for tonight's fight, Houston, a big booming city in a big booming state. One of the world's largest petrochemical centers, one of the world's busy ports. To the city of Houston and the officials of the Houston Coliseum and to all Houstonians, here's our thanks for a pleasant visit. who? That's right, Bill the bartender, remember? My jacket still fit? Well, I guess it's not too bad. Well, it feels kind of good again. I put it back on for a very special reason. I'm celebrating an occasion tonight. Do you happen to know that May is National Tavern Month? Well, that's right. And I think that makes it a real great time to drop in at your favorite neighborhood tavern or club, where a fellow dressed just about like me probably will welcome you. And he'll offer you that certain touch of hospitality, friendship, and service. Probably a very nice guy. He'll offer, too, that particular extra touch that makes it your favorite place. And it's the same way with Pabst Blue Ribbon. This is the beer with PBRT, that Pabst Blue Ribbon touch. There's sparkle in the look of it, and there's sparkle in the taste of it, too. Pabst Blue Ribbon, a brilliant beer with that smooth, finished flavor. Well, May being National Tavern Month, I think it's a fine time to stop in at your favorite tavern or club, and when that friend of yours and mine asks, what do you have? You know the answer. Pabst Blue Ribbon. So if you're just having a snack or a complete dinner, this is the way to add an extra edge of enjoyment to it. Have a sparkling glass full of Pabst Blue Ribbon for that unmistakable taste with a Blue Ribbon touch. Right now, let's go to a big, tall guy who's got a special touch all of his own. Jack Dries at ringside. Take it away, Jack. Good evening, everyone. This is Jack Dries at ringside at the Houston Coliseum in Houston, Texas, where tonight Wallace Smith, the lightweight champion of the world of Cincinnati, Ohio, with 32 victories, 14 defeats, 5 draws, and 51 fights, meets Joe Brown of New Orleans. Joe Brown, trying to get back into the top rankings among the lightweights, has a great opportunity tonight as he tangles with the lightweight champion in this non-title bout. Up in the center of the ring, things are just about ready to go. So we're going to switch you now to the ring announcer, Bill Whitmore. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Sam Houston Coliseum here in Houston, where tonight Texas Boxing Enterprises, in conjunction with the International Boxing Club, James D. Norris, president, bring you an outstanding boxing card. Right now, we would like to introduce, if they will get the plug in on the public address, we would like to introduce some outstanding boys that are in the ring at this time from Texas. First off, I would like to present Alex Vargas. Alex Vargas. Alex not in here with us. Robert E. Lee. Robert E. Lee, an outstanding high school boy from Houston with several professional fights. Next, we have Bobby Dykes. Bobby Dykes well-known throughout the entire nation. And out of Dallas, Texas, Jackie Blair. Jackie Blair from Dallas, an outstanding Walter. And the very popular boy from Houston, the very popular boy from Houston, Paul Jorgensen, third-ranked contender for the featherweight championship. 
Ladies and gentlemen, the officials for this bout, the ring physician is Dr. Arthur Moores, the timekeeper is Woody Myers, counting for the knockdowns, Jimmy Lee, the judges are Bill Cornelius and Joe Luck. The referee for this bout will be Jimmy Webb. Jimmy Webb to referee. At ringside are the officials of the Texas Boxing Commission, M.D. Morgan, chairman, and Alton Erickson, who is the supervisor. Introducing now the feature presentation of the evening. At this time, I would like to present a very worthy contender fighting out of New Orleans, the Southern Lightweight Champion out of New Orleans tonight at 139 pounds, Joe Brown. Joe Brown of New Orleans in the white trucks. And his opponent, his opponent, the champion of the world in the lightweight division from Cincinnati, Ohio, weighing tonight 143 and a half pounds, Wallace Smith, Wallace Smith, the champion. The referee, <clears throat> Jimmy Webb, is bringing the two fighters into the center of the ring for their instructions. If you're scoring this fight, the scoring system here in Texas is the 10-must system. <clears throat> a familiar system to most of you, I am sure. 10 points awarded to the winner of a round. Such a lesser number of points to the loser as the judges, referee, or you, if you're scoring the fight, feel uh, he deserves. If the round is even, each fighter gets 10 points. Joe Brown is in the white trunks. Wallace Smith is in the black trunks. Wallace Smith, the lightweight champion of the world. Joe Brown, ranked number 10 among the lightweights. And there's the bell for round number one. Joe Brown in the white trunks has had about 30, well, actually 31 more fights than has Smith, 82 bouts compared to 51. They have both lost the same number of fights, 14. Joe Brown at one time, back in 1951, had worked his way up to number three ranking among the lightweights, then was knocked out by Georgie Arujo, a knockout which discouraged him no little because he kept dropping down in the rankings until he was out of the first 10. A recent series of successful fights, however, has brought him back into the top 10. He is now ranked as the number 10 lightweight contender. And with a comeback notion very strongly in his mind, he's out to upset the champion tonight. And while no title is at stake, it would certainly help his rankings and quite probably would lead to a title shot. these fighters are dangerous punchers. Joe Brown has had 25 knockouts and 58 victories. Wallace Smith has had 18 knockouts out of 32 victories. has been making expert use of that left hand so far in the first round. Been more or less of a probing round with one minute to go in it. He has a good jab, likes to counter with the right. seconds to go in round number one. Ten seconds left in the first round. He 
I'm going fishing. Hi, <laughs> this is Jack Gregson. Nice to have you with us. Well, you're all set for those great days outdoors. Don't forget now, your face can take a beating from the sun and wind too, you know. This combined with daily shaving can upset the moisture balance of your skin. Leave it dry and uncomfortable. And that's why you'll want AFTA. Menon's totally new aftershave lotion. You know, AFTA actually conditions your face. Helps maintain the correct uh, moisture balance of your skin by replenishing oils, the elements and shaving dry out. But it leaves your face smooth and fresh and comfortable too. Men and after also soothes your face. It's non-alcoholic, it cannot sting. Yes, here's the greatest catch for skin comfort. It is men and new men and after. Ready to go now with round number two. Joe Brown, New Orleans, Louisiana, in the white trunks against the lightweight champion, Wallace Smith, in the black trunks. Smith started very slowly in the first round, not putting much steam in his punches. Sort of testing Joe Brown and looking for the kind of attack that would work against him. while it brought a shot from the crowd thrown by Joe Brown was blocked by Smith. He brought his right glove up in time. The right hand by Brown was blocked. Brown is the sentimental favorite here tonight in the role of underdog. He took a pretty good right hand from Smith with a minute to go in round number two. Thirty seconds left in round two. end of round number two. Right now I'd like to say a word of greeting to all our friends attending the biennial convention of the NACDS, that's National Association of Chain Drug Stores, down at Hollywood Beach, Florida. Our best wishes for a very successful meeting. Let's take a look at this boy, Joe Brown, right now. In his last ten fights, Joe Brown has lost only one, that to Arthur Persley, and he avenged that, but good, on... February 6th of this year when he knocked out Persley. This, of course, is his big chance to get back to the top, and he was right up there four or five years ago when he was ranked as number three among the lightweight contenders. Brown started to fight in the service. He spent 21 months in the Navy during World War II, was involved in seven Pacific Island invasions, also had time to fight, had 16 bouts in the service, 
won the all-service lightweight championship. Here we go now to round three. champion's mouth just under the lower lip Hand shot landed by Smith. It sent Brown back into the ropes and was his best punch of the fight so far. to go in round number three. seconds left in the third round. Wallace Smith at 143 and a half against Joe Brown in the white trunks at 139 and a half. special label next time it's on your table it's a standing invitation to folks across the nation here's the reason ribbon is here on paps blue ribbon beer it's the mark that tells the difference that means so much the paps blue ribbon pbrt -E the paps blue ribbon touch part of that touch is barley basic grain and making beer as a barley buyer, I know that out of 140 varieties, only eight qualify for Pabst Blue Ribbon. The Pabst Blue Ribbon Touch. The whistle is sounded, ordering the seconds out of the ring. And there is the beginning of round number four. Smith in the black trunks has the cut inside his mouth, too. again by Smith's glove.
left in round number four. Seconds left in the fourth round. Round number four. Next Wednesday night, we invite you to be our guest for the 280th Wednesday night fight from ringside at the Miami Beach Auditorium in Miami Beach, Florida. We'll bring you a 12 round heavyweight title elimination bout between John Holman of Chicago, Illinois, and Bob Baker of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. This is the first in a series of elimination bouts to determine who's going to get a crack at Rocky Marciano's heavyweight championship. Right now, Holman is rated the number four contender, and Baker is number three. You've seen both these hard-punching boys on Wednesday night fights before, so you know what a great fight this should be. So be sure to tune in. And remember, your TV tickets to the fight are the products that bring you the fights, Paps Blue Ribbon Bear and Menon, products for men. You're looking into the corner of Joe Brown. Waiting now for the bell, and there it is. For round number five. and the black trunks in this round forcing the fight more than he has in any of the four preceding. That left hand by Brown <coughs> landed to go. We're in round number five. Very big miss is my Smith. That left jab and long left hook of Browns is continuing the punishment of Smith's damaged mouth. We have 30 seconds to go in this fifth round. The cut and the skin below the lower lip on the outside of the face has not been reopened, but Smith is still bleeding inside the mouth. Say 
Dave, you ever shaved a porcupine? Well, probably not. But maybe you've thought that your beard is just about that tough. I mean, with all that pulling and discomfort. Like all of us, chances are you're looking for more comfortable shaves. And that's where, fellas, Menon Foam Shave with menthol comes in. Actually, now, you get close shaves with cooler, more soothing comfort. Why? Well, because the exclusive menthol formula in Men and Foam Shave is especially designed to eliminate the burn and sting of shaving. In fact, actual sales prove that Men and Foam Shave is growing at a faster rate than any other shave cream. Now, what better proof that you can't get stuck with shaving discomfort when you use Men and Foam Shave with menthol? Ready now for round number six. Joe Brown in the white trunks, number 10 ranking lightweight against Wallace Smith in the black trunks, who is the lightweight champion. Speaking of champions, on May 15th, two weeks from tonight in the Chicago Stadium, we're going to have a bout between Johnny Saxton, the welterweight champion, as he goes against the middleweight, Gil Turner. And that should be quite a bout. They met once before, three years ago, and they were both welterweights, in which occasion Gil Turner won a very close 10-round decision from Johnny. One minute left. We're in round number six. Nice countering right hand landed by Brown. Smith has been trying a lot of big punches in the last few rounds. Brown has been able to dodge most of them. 30 seconds left. Tavern Month. Why don't you drop in soon to your favorite tavern, hospitality headquarters in your neighborhood. You'll find lots of your friends and neighbors there. Let's take a close-up look at this boy, Wallace Smith, the lightweight champion, who is having his hands full here tonight against Joe Brown. Smith, with 51 victory, or 51 fights, has had 32 wins, 18 of them by knockout. He began his fighting in the amateur ranks as a flyweight and won the flyweight title, amateur, in 1945, the National AAU featherweight title in 47, and then fighting as a lightweight in 1948, Smith made the United States Olympic team. His professional career, of course, highlighted by his victory and uh, 
subsequent rematch victory over Jimmy Carter last year when he took the lightweight championship. Smith in the black trunks has a two fight losing streak going on. He lost to Larry Boardman in February and then to Tony DeMarco in March. And certainly in comeback Brown or comeback bound Joe Brown tonight. He is finding quite a match. Down, of course, Smith swung and missed. One minute left. We're in round number seven. left in this round. The left eye of Smith is puffing. And there seems to be a very slight cut along the cheek underneath that left eye of Wallace Smith's. on the snap cap can snap off the cap on the snap cap can you get the economy of a quart the convenience of a can and the taste with the paps blue ribbon touch the low cost way to get the highest quality beer five glasses of sparkling satisfying paps blue ribbon what do you have paps blue ribbon unmistakable the taste with the blue ribbon touch paps blue ribbon in the snap cap full quart can Round number eight coming up. Wallace Smith on the left in the black trunks. Joe Brown in the white. Joe Brown at 139 and a half. Smith well over the lightweight limit of 135 coming in tonight at 143 and a half.
punches now. One minute to go in round number eight. A good series of combinations landed by Brown. seconds to the end of the round. Ten seconds left to the end of the round. the end of round number eight. Supermarket operators from all over the country will be attending the National Supermarket Convention in Cleveland, Ohio from May 6th to May 9th. Menon and Pat salute them. Let's take a look into the corner of Wallace Smith, the lightweight champion, who got his lump somewhat in the round just concluded, round number eight. You can see his handlers working on the cut underneath his lip and the slight cut underneath his left eye. Neither cut has assumed serious proportions at any time during the fight. The mouth of Smith was cut in the closing seconds of the second round, and the eye uh, puffing and slight cut occurred in round number seven. The warning whistle sends the seconds out, but not without a last bit of advice to Wallace Smith. to go in the ninth round.
30 seconds left in round nine. Both fighters playing it cautiously here through round nine after the furious finish of round eight. was blocked. Two to one winner. You know, that's a pretty big margin. And yet, that is the margin of victory Menon Skin Bracer has over any other aftershave lotion. It's fact, when men go into a store to buy aftershave lotions for themselves, they pick Menon Skin Bracer two to one over any other brand. You splash it on and you get a, well, a fresh stimulating feeling, a wake up tingle. You'll add tone to your appearance, too. And it helps give you a healthy glow, I think. The aroma is masculine, it's clean and crisp, it's not overpowering, and uh, on you, it smells good. Just ask the nearest gal. Remember now, fellas, when men buy a shaving lotion for themselves, Men and Skin Bracer is their choice, two to one over any other. Three convenient sizes, priced right. We're coming up now to the final round of this 10-round bout. Joe Brown in the white trunks, Wallace Smith, lightweight champion in the black. Three more minutes of fighting. minutes left in the fight. to go. seconds left in the fight. Ten seconds to go. Fight. We'll have the decision in just a moment. 
Take a look at that ribbon of blue When you pour that sparkling brew Note this very special label Next time it's on your table It's a standing invitation To folks across the nation Here's the reason Ribbon is here On Pabst Blue Ribbon Beer It's the mark that tells the difference It means so much The Pabst Blue Ribbon P-B-R-T The Pabst Blue Ribbon Touch Waiting now for the scorecards to be picked up. Wallace Smith in the corner to the left of your picture, uh, still having some first aid on the cut below his lip. As I mentioned, he was also cut inside the mouth. And this was a cut that couldn't be stopped up in the course of the fight. And since that is bound to affect his breathing ability. It no doubt had a slowing effect on him as this fight moved along. Walking around the ring and uh, just in the center of the ring now, walking toward the left is Joe Brown. This was not a title fight, of course, tonight. Both fighters came in over the limit in a 10-round non-title go. But for Joe Brown of New Orleans, he was shooting to continue on his comeback trail that he hopes will lead him up to a title fight. And since this is the title holder, just a moment, here's the decision. Judge Bill Cornelius scores 99 points for Brown, 92 for Smith. Judge Joe Lott scores 98 points Brown, 92, Smith. <laughs> Referee Jimmy Webb scores 100 points. Brown, 88, Smith. The winner, Joe Brown of New Orleans. Brown is the winner. Brought off a big one tonight. A unanimous decision. And in the eyes of the referee, closest to the action, he didn't lose a single round. As he puffed the eyes of the lightweight champion, Wallace Smith, cut him about the mouth and generally had control of the fight throughout. Joe Brown, who in 1951 was the number three lightweight contender, then tobogganed in the rankings, came back to number 10 on the strength of recent victories, now can look forward to a big jump up the ladder as a result of this victory over the champion tonight and perhaps a crack at the title that Wallace Smith holds. Well, our thanks to KTRK TV for their work on the pickup of tonight's fight, and I'll be back in a moment with the word on next week's fight. Hey, that was some fight tonight, wasn't it? Man, I like that. Hope you enjoyed it. Well, you know, uh, a little earlier we were talking about uh, fishing and the spring and summer weather coming on. I've been uh, practicing up a little bit here in the tennis. You know what the coach told me the other day? He said, uh, Jack, if you want to make sure of what counts in uh, being sure of yourself at tennis, just learn the follow-through habit. Here, you, you see that over here? That's real follow-through. Yes, sir, when you learn the follow-through habit, well, you're really just a lot more sure of your game. And fellas, there's another kind of follow-through habit that helps you feel mighty sure of yourself. That is, after your shower or your bath, follow through with a good deodorant. Menon, spray deodorant for men. It's the long-lasting, quick-acting deodorant in the handy green squeeze bottle. It's one of the best habits that a man can learn. And it's mighty easy. You just uncap your Menon spray, you squeeze it once, and squeeze it twice, and you're set for the whole day. That's right, you're sure of yourself all through the day. Sure you're protected from offending others. Men and spray deodorant for men dries in seconds, acts at once, has a crisp, clean scent. Now, 60 cents for this size, only a dollar for twice as much. Yes, men, get the follow-through habit with men and spray deodorant every morning. I think you'll be a man of confidence wherever you go. So
Wednesday night, May 9th. The Wednesday night fights will present, direct from the Miami Beach Auditorium in Miami Beach, Florida, a 12-round heavyweight championship elimination bout between John Holman of Chicago, Illinois, and Bob Baker of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. The Wednesday night fights have been brought to you by the Menon Company, makers of world-famous Menon products for men. Shave cream, aftershave lotions, deodorants, talcums, and hair products. And America's first coast-to-coast -coast chain of breweries. The Paps Brewing Company in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, Peoria Heights, Illinois, Newark, New Jersey, and Los Angeles, California. Until next Wednesday night, this is Jack Dree saying good night. Don't miss The Vice Friday night on ABC Television Network.